I've been counting the waves on the wall in my room too soon to view what's left of you. It's not because I'm bored, of course. It's because I don't know what to do. So maybe framing myself every time I feel attacked only lasted long enough for me to want the good times to come back and love is only a beautiful image when it's sitting in the trash. Or maybe dwelling on the negative only negates the rest or cheating death is not the same as cheating on a test and the only right seed that can put a bullet in my chest possibly too self-righteous to even slightly suggest there's a presence in these walls and my flaws can entirely attest. I know it's easy to look at someone who's crazy and not know what to do, but if you didn't have something that's vital and you wanted it, I promise you'd be crazy too. Because the world sometimes feels like it's not a safe place, like you're forced to be born and then told you're going to die someday. Or maybe the lights were left on, but God has moved on and walked into the kitchen nook to book himself another three-night stay. No, Jesus, forgive me. I don't know where to go from here. Losing someone I love out of death and then losing myself out of fear. To all the people relying on a miracle who are still miraculously here. There's no way you don't matter because your family is here. So bury a light so someone else can dig it up. It's enough just to know I can barely handle this love. Bury a light so you won't have to cling into your past. Just a dash and a splash more to mix in until you never have to drink it again and you could always come back. I got a text message from a friend. He said his mother was dead. He said, she still said we can drop the crystal meth off in Calexico and grab a bite to eat in El Centro, head down to Blythe and smoke a pack of cigarettes until we're left with nothing but crushes and menthols. And then she said, I'm sorry, but that's just how this spiral goes. But I want to tell you, there's nothing poetic in craving death. There's nothing beautiful about wanting to die. But there's something beautiful about having those thoughts, honoring them, recognizing that you're better than them, and then choosing life instead. Because I promise you're worth having here. Because your perspective is something only you possess. And that's beautiful. It adds a flavor to this world that we wouldn't have otherwise. So I'm telling you now, it's vital that you stay alive. Yeah, you.